This video might help us understand the changes before we put it in the van when it's hard to see what is happening. This is the air conditioner and the ducting system is from Hymer is connected to it. So the board and the two holes that you see in the cabin kind of orient you to where we are. This is how it looks underneath and above. And so the evaporator, which is where the warm air goes in and cold air comes out, is in the front. And the coming out is a pipe that comes over here and goes around to the back, goes up through the floor where that green stuff is, comes up and goes through the hole and out. On the other side, there's a second pipe, comes out here, goes up through the floor through a few joints again, and then up and out. The air going into the evaporator comes down this hole in the floor. So this whole land here is the floor, and this is all above it. That's all going to go away. The other thing that was changed is the Ecotrek battery is blocking off this vent here that brings air into the condenser coils, which is where the heat that was taken out of the cabin is dumped in the ground. So again, this is air coming in, and then it comes out the bottom with a fan towards the ground. Because this is blocked by the battery, this whole section is blocked off. The uh, condenser gets very hot, the compressor overheats, and that's actually what's causing the fuses to blow. So the addition of this uh, aluminum 30% op uh, 70% open, 30% closed aluminum grating, which is actually made of wires, here uh, replaces more than enough cooling intake that came here, and it's actually in a better place since it's going straight into the evaporator coils, uh, excuse me, condenser coils, which you can see down inside perhaps. Okay, so that's the Heimer setup. I'll show you the other setup in a second.